How to implement a queue using stacks. Here's our class, queue from two stacks. It uses two stacks to implement a queue. Here we have a generic stack for adding to. Then we have another generic stack for removing from. To get the total count, we add the stack for adding to count plus the stack for removing from count. Here's our constructor that we initialize both stacks in. To enqueue onto our queue, we take in a generic value and then we simply push it on our stack for adding to. Order will later be reversed when it moves to the other stack. To dequeue from our queue, we must first check if our stack for removal is empty, and if it is, move all the items from the stack we added to to the stack that we are removing from. We do this with move contents to removal stack. So if the stack to remove from is empty, then we move the other stack items onto it. So we check the count for the stack for removing from. If it's equal to zero, then we use a while loop to loop through the stack for adding to until the stack for adding to is equal to zero. And we simply push the items onto the stack for removing from from the items that we popped off of the stack for adding to. Now we can safely pop an item off the stack for removing from. The first item into our queue is now the first item out of our queue since this stack is a reversal of the other stack. We implement peak in a similar manner. If our stack to remove from is empty, then we move the items from the stack that we add to to the stack that we remove from. And then we simply call peak on the stack that we're removing from. To print this queue to the console, we implement ienumerable. Which returns ienumerator ienumerable.getEnumerator, which returns get enumerator, which we implement here. First, we do a for each loop of the stack for removing from, and then we need to call to array on the stack that we are adding to, and do a reverse for loop to the length of the temporary array, and then yield return each item at the temporary arrays index. So just as we created a queue before, now we will create a queue from two stacks. Initializing it here, we'll get the count and then add some items to it. Let's run it. As you can see, we have an initial count of zero. Then we enqueue eight items and remove two, so we have a count of six. Then we do for each to find our context, which we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just as expected. If we call peak on our queue, then we have three, which is at the top, which is as we expected. Then if we use the queues count to loop through with a for loop, then dequeue each item, we get the items in order as we expected, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As you can see, we enqueued first three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. And after we dequeue, we have a count of zero as expected. And that's all there is to implementing a queue from multiple stacks.